headed down to Romano's, which is located near Watongo, Oklahoma. I'm going down to meet a group of guys to go trout fishing. Uh, we'll spend the night, have some good fellowship with one another, and uh, some great food and some fishing too. Today's video, yes, it's about deer. Probably the next video out will be the trout fishing video. That's just where I'm headed today. It makes a father's day for his boys to be able to come home and hunt. Garrett and Maggie, hopefully you've already seen their, their video. He got him a good nine point. I think it was a Saturday in rifle season and it turned out to be the same night that Carter got his. Uh, I was with Carter on that hunt. You'll see it later on. But what I want to talk about is staying determined. I've already said don't get discouraged when you're deer hunting. A bunch of the time it feels like a losing battle. You got to stay determined when you're out there hunting. A big part of the time you've got deer that, you know, deer are not nocturnal, but they move at night just as much, if not more than what they move in the daylight. And sometimes our stands are not set up in the right place to catch that deer in the daylight. So we've got that working against us. We've also got the fact working against us that we've got roads, deer can get run over. So we had multiple deer get run over this year that were good enough deer we had intentions of harvesting them. Carter, he started out bow hunting with school and baseball and work schedules. He only got to hunt maybe five or six different nights. Saw deer every time. Saw some nice bucks, but didn't see anything that he was really wanting to try and put on the ground. Youth season came and went. We saw one really nice buck that we called Droopy. I was hoping he would shoot him, but he didn't want to because he knew that I was interested in him. A couple weeks goes by, we come to Black Powder, and uh, Carter's back to hunting by himself. I'm hunting by myself, my brother's hunting. My brother takes Droopy out of the gene pool. Carter's been in search of a really nice 10 point. He just can't get him any sights. Uh, actually never laid sights on him this year. Trail cameras would pick him up. If it wasn't for trail cameras, we would not have known that he existed. Carter Black Powder hunts. He films some nice bucks. He passes some nice bucks. Every once in a while starts thinking about shooting the doe. Fast forward to rifle season, a couple weeks down the road. Carter has broke his foot by this point in time, so he's on crutches. This is the part about determination. He could have easily said, ah, heck, I'm crippled up, I'm on crutches, I can't hardly climb up in a stand. But instead, we drove him to his stand, tried to have him hunt in a, well, he hunted in a few ground blinds, but for the most part, our stands were about a minimum of 10 feet high. So we put him up in the lowest stands that we had, Driving to the stand did not help matters in the morning. Driving to it in the evening didn't help matters. He hunts three or four days. Earlier in the year, he had used some of his birthday money. He had got an upper and a lower both and uh, put it together for a 350 Legend. He'd been hunting with it during rifle season and he texted me one night, can I shoot a doe? Well, of course my answer is, I don't care if you're happy with it, do it. So he shoots him a doe first deer to put down with the 350 so I'm sure it was a great feeling for him day or two later he's hunting he sees a good 10 point it didn't work out he's done a tremendous job all year long filming and that 10 point that come in he was in some tall grass he was into the sunset if you guys have ever filmed before filming into the sunset is a disaster the 10 point gets away a few nights later, I harvest my buck with my old 30-30. Maybe the highlight of my hunting career and maybe the smallest buck that I've taken in 10 years or so. But the old 30-30 going old school, it was an awesome feeling for me. Well, back to Carter. He's still looking for his 10 point. Our cameras are basically dead right there in the middle of the rut. We haven't seen the buck, haven't haven't got pictures of that 10 point in 
I don't know, probably 10 days. We don't even know if he's still alive, as many hunters as what there is in the area. It comes down and it starts snowing. I go with Carter. I drive him to the stand. He gets up in the stand. I go park the pickup about 30 yards from the stand. Backed it up underneath a couple trees. We see a young buck. Of course, Carter wasn't interested in shooting a young buck. His big brother calls, says he had just shot a nice buck. And I look over at Carter. You could just see the disappointment on his face. He's happy for his brother, like we all are for our hunting buddies and stuff. But he says, Dad, it's just not working out for me. And I'm like, Carter, sometimes hunting is just really a struggle. And you just never know when that good buck's going to come along. You know, just stay patient, stay determined, and don't get discouraged. I know more than say that. And, of course, we're talking quiet because we're in the stand. And I look out one of the stand windows to the west, and about 200 yards away, here comes this big buck. Carter, here he is. He's walking to us. Sure, what's him? Well, it's a big buck, I can tell you. He's heavy. Let him walk close to us. Let him keep walking. He's turning broadside. Bat! He jumped. He jumped. He's dead on him. That did happen quick. That did happen quick. To say the least, it makes me one proud father to be sitting in a deer stand with your son when they take a deer. One of these days, hopefully I'll be able to take my grandkids hunting. Up until then, I'm still going to take some friends hunting. I'm going to go sit with my kids as much as I can, and I'm going to be in the timber myself. As soon as this fishing trip's over, I've got a nice big nine point on the target list. I'm going to try and take him in this late bow season. About Tuesday to Thursday of next week, deer cast looks like the time is right. So I will be there. I don't know if I'm going to try and take him with my compound or my crossbow. I very well might carry both to the stand and just see what works out. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I hope you've been able to get out with your kids, family, and friends and do some hunting as well.